Dorian is We're first doing plasma cutting. Plasma cutting. cutting. So Superstorm Sandy will cost the state forty-two billion dollars. Plasma cutting, power, voltage, and air, gas pressure, which is air. Plug that in. But it also challenged the requirement for most employers to provide plug where. Dave Roberts, and this is one incredible place right here, the scrapyard from heaven. And I have picked up an ammo box, and this is a bomb thrower smoke box. We are actually going to take this thing, cut a hole right there, put a grate in across, cut a hole in the top. We'll do some welding plasma cutting. It's going to be some beautiful video. Check it out. So, when you're cutting a hole, you start off with this. Don't start off like right flat, like you're welding. Okay. Or cutting. You start here and then work your way in. It's fast. It's fast. Okay. You just go. A wood gas fire. Uh, we were up into the late night last night welding all this together. What we have here, top of a 55 gallon drum, welded to a propane tank with a smaller one up here. That's the chase. Then we welded on the grate. And now I'm going to poke some holes in here with the plasma cutter. We need the ground. It's right. Provincial police said the students were plasma cutting for the filter on the wood gas fire. We're just poking two holes in. We're gonna bring it out inch and a quarter. Interior to exterior. This is NPR. Syrian warplanes today launched a strike on a rebel headquarters along the border with Turkey, but they failed to hit it. The bombing terrorized hundreds of civilians okay. fleeing Syria this across the frontier. This actually grounds this. The attack comes a day this before works on the NATO principle that this will ground the That's what it's like, right? Try to fight. NASA and Russia's space agency today named the two astronauts who will spend an entire year aboard the International Space Station. Scott Kelly and Mikhail Kornienko will spend 12 months aboard the orbiting yeah. yeah! I'm on it! This is Dave Roberts with the plasma cutter. For more data on how the human body reacts and adapts to space. I'm Barbara Klein, NPR News in Washington. And the guy's going, what is going on? Oh! What's going on over there?
venture up the pass to Woodland Park. Folks, there's a shielded weld, and we're going to try a wire feed welder without the gas. It's, it's all an experiment. Otherwise, we're going to have to wait until we can get some more gas over here at the shop. Um, we'll give it a shot. You got your hood? See the other glove, dude? Here it is. The man of the people. The man of the people? Yes, sir. I thought it was the man of the people. Could be. This is all an experiment, folks. As everything in life is, we shall see. It's freaking intense, folks. This is metal. Melting metal. Okay. This thing fires up really quick. I'm thinking about 20 seconds ago. Boot this sucker up. And what do we have here? A wood gasifier. And I don't expect to get any wood gas out of it tonight, but we're trying. We're dreaming about it, and look at what we have comes okay it goes in there and it comes out here goes into the cooler and the cleaner we're filtering it and out here eventually we'll be able to run a vehicle she's a freak of nature this little indica dog yeah you think you're so funny wagging your tail mm -hmm. I've seen you eat dogs Act like you're so innocent. Okay, folks, so eventually we're going to take this uh, vacuum cleaner, amazing this camera's picking everything up, and hook it to the other end and suck all of this freaking hot gas out the other end and light it on fire. Step number two in wood gasification. Yeah, we got a forge going, folks. That's where we made the rocket stove a few weeks ago. bad boy go so uh, this is all experimental here folks but eventually we're gonna be capturing this heat coming off and throwing it into a vehicle okay we're good on the blower <laughs> thing fires up fast like that huh bad dog Well, no matter what, we built a wood cook stove, whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> this is warm. <laughs> yeah, it's really warm out here for being 30 degrees out. We have built a forge. We could melt metal inside of this forge. 